In today's video, I'm gonna show you three simple tests that you can do to see how good or bad your feet currently are. So if you have foot pain, maybe you just wanna improve how your feet are functioning, this, then this is gonna be important because it's gonna give you an idea of where some of your limitations or your restrictions might be, and it'll really give you the best place to start um, when you're wanting to uh, improve how your feet are working. Hi, I'm Craig from Elite Chiropractic and I've been helping people feel, move and function better for the last 13 years. Now, I've been helping people um, uh, adjust their feet and get their feet working better for some time now, but over the last four or five months, I've really been diving deep um, and learning a lot more on how our feet can and should work and some tests you can do. And that's really what I'm going to share with you today. Um, I'm going to show you three simple tests that you can do. Now, I'm learning with these as well so my feet are not perfect by any stretch of the imaginations but I'm working towards it and I must admit one of the one of these tests I'm going to show you today I can't actually do properly myself so it's going to be a, a good test to see how good or bad your feet are so let's get started. So this first test is called the knee to wall test it's going to be a test of what we call dorsiflexion which is your ability to tilt your toes up towards your body and we're going to do this against the wall so we're going to come over to the wall we're going to be barefoot we're going to uh Stand in front of the wall and then we're going to bend forward and touch our knee onto the wall. Then we're going to scoot back, and bend forward, touch your knee on the wall, bend back. And you're going to keep going until you either have to lift, lift your heel off the ground in order to get to the wall, or do you really sort of try to jam it a bit? I don't want to really force it because it, it's not really a repeatable test if you don't know how much energy or pressure you use. So just until your first, first sign of resistance, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to measure the distance between your big toe and the wall. Now ideally when we do this, we should have a 10 centimeter gap at least, okay? And of course we're gonna do the opposite side and you're gonna do this until your heel lifts off or until you really have to jam it there to get there, okay? So this is that first knee to wall test. So when you do it, do it both sides, measure the distance. As I said, it should be at least a 10 centimeter gap there. So try it out and um, see how good you go. So the second test that you're going to do here, it's called sitting on your feet. And it's as simple as it sounds, is can you actually sit on your feet? So I'm going to do it on the table, so you can, um, rather than getting on the ground to do it. But what you're going to do, is you're going to go up onto your feet, and can you actually sit on your feet like this, okay? Um, this is a good test of what we call plantar flexion, which is pointing our toes away from our body. Our first test was checking how far we could lift our foot up, now we're checking how far we can tilt it down. It's got to test the, the um, mo mobility across the front of your shins, the front of your foot. It's obviously got to check your knees. So if you've got knee issues, knee pain, then that might be a limiting factor in this. But we want to see if it is, how, do you, how does it feel in your, in your feet and in your toes and in the front of your shins. Of course, if you've got knee pain, please stop. We don't want to hurt yourself, but it's just a good test. Can you do it? Is there a difference from side to side? So our third test is called shaking hands with your feet. Now this is the one that I'm struggling with. As I said at the start, one of these tests I can't do. This is one of them. I'm not quite there yet, or it's not as comfortable as I'd like it to be, but I'm working on that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take our shoes off, and we're going to interlock our hands between each of our toes. And what we're gonna ask is, can you actually do it, okay? Can we get our fingers all the way in, ideally all the way into the webbing of our toes? And this is where I can't do that. Um, this, my left foot is definitely easier than my right foot, okay? And then we can just see how comfortable it is and just, is your foot flexible enough to manage this? So if I go to my other side, this is where um, I struggle a bit. I need a little bit of help to get my fingers in here, but it's just a good, Good test and I just really struggle with this foot so this is one that I really need to work on so try it out see if you can do it see if there's a difference from side to side again so there you had those three simple foot tests that you can try we had the uh, knee to wall test we had the sitting on your feet test and we had the shaking hands with your foot test so I'd encourage you to try them all um, and then comment down below which one you found the hardest or if there was a difference from side to side. It's just a really good idea to see where you are so then we can start to make some positive changes in the, in the future. But until next time, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.